Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a Valentine's Day look and then I'm going to be giving you guys, specifically the guys, for the men who watch this because like 64% of you are men. I can see it in my channel analytics. So I'm going to be trying out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Toffee. I'm not really sure if this is my colour. Today is a Valentine's Day look. And we've been wearing like little heart earrings if you can see like my earlobes are not long enough all my piercings i haven't done my eyebrows because i'm going to show you guys like how i do my eyebrows in two seconds and then i'm going to be doing a makeup look only with this palette this is the comfort zone palette I'm priming my skin and i'm using my trusty old la girl pro prep hd smoothing face primer I just want to put like more realistic things out there because you know I'm just saying because all the time you know how people are always posting like this look and that look and sometimes it's really difficult for it's not something that beginners will be able to do or if you do it like it's not gonna look exactly the same not that anything should look exactly the same but it's more like advanced type things I would say so I just want to put like more realistic how to do this how to like you know so i just brush my brows out with a spoolie and i'm taking my essence eyebrow brush and i'm just dipping into a you guys can literally use like a black or brown eyeshadow you don't have to use a brow powder i just use black shadow so then i'm gonna what i do with my brows is i'm gonna need my mother for this so what i do with my brows is i after i brush it out with the spoolie I take a very little amount of powder onto my eyebrow brush and then I will start depending on how much powder I took I will just start like filling out my brow like that sorry I can't speak because my thing is against my mouth um, filling your brow out like that and then just like buffing the powder into so what i did was i created can you see like the bottom line of my eye um eyebrow and then whatever's left on the brush i'm gonna buff into the beginning of the eye because you don't want um the beginning of your eyebrow because you don't want that section to be dark if you get what i'm saying obviously you get what i'm saying because you don't want like super super dark eyebrows so i just fill in like my bra my brows are really thin so i just fill in and shape them with the powder i go in a little more heavy to the top of my brow just because it's more sparse in that area so i'm just gonna all that in can you see like the difference it's not it's more just shaping the brow and filling in the sparse areas that's basically just what you're doing you don't want to redraw your brow or like go in really heavy with a brow pomade or whatever you want to look natural you don't want people to be like um you don't have eyebrows like what are you doing so i'm gonna do the same on this side and then when I feel that they, this brow has like zero shape, so I normally try shape them the same. Um, obviously you won't get them like exactly the same. Okay, so after that I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C7 on this little small concealer brush. I don't really like to use the own like the brushes um, like this. I can't just take product and then disperse it like how I want it versus just like applying because this is like really thick um it's like really full coverage it's true to what it says it does um and I don't really need that much so I always just can see like the bottom of my eyebrow you guys i'm so annoying today like just put my beauty blender back in my makeup guys which makes zero sense 
just slightly blending that out this is why i don't do like my brows on camera we need like i use that little bit that i use on my eyes to even like prime my my whole eyelid okay i don't know if i love the the pigment on like a set eyelid so i'm not gonna set my eyelid and then see how it comes out if it's a mess um, I'm not doing lashes today as well like I just said I want to do realistic stuff because realistically you aren't gonna like wear lashes <laughs> or else at least I wouldn't lashes aren't what I would do on a date I'm not that extra to do lashes on a date so what I'm doing now is I'm just taking my um, that is the dirt tracker my essence sun club matte bronzing powder it's the same one I used in my previous video most of my products are like the same if I buy new products I will I'll like show you guys the products and say I'm like testing the products like most of my products <laughs> remain the same so I'm just um, putting that in my crease just as a transition shade the first shade that I'm taking is the one over here that actually says crease that crease shade okay that's better so I would take that key shade on this brush, not a brush like this because it has a, can you see, like you see it more with like the fine, the defined crease brush. And different blending brushes are like sparsed out differently, so it obviously will have a different effect. I'm gonna, I'm actually not sure what I want to do. I think I'm gonna take this color, the definer one, and I'm just gonna work that into my outer corner a little because I want like that color to the look. Okay, so just working that into the outer corner. To my fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna like melt those two layers together um I'm not loving the payoff of that shade out of my switch beauty palette I pick up the shade Zola picked up the shade Zola just to add a little warmth like barely any I just added like slight 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 amount of warmth I'm gonna I didn't set my eyes so I'm gonna see how this turns out going to take the eyelid shade and the brow bone shade those are the two shades that I'm gonna be using so I'm first gonna go in with the brow bone shade because I want that to be in the first little bit like the first bit of my eyelid I'm taking that This also isn't like a dramatic eye makeup look. It's just like a regular eye makeup look because, like I said, realistically, I'm not gonna cut crease and do the most for a date. Like, you want to look cute, but you still, like, want to look like you. You don't want to look all cakey on a date. I mean, I don't know what your partner's preference is, but I just like to look tasteful. I don't like to look too over the top. So then into the middle but of my eye, I'm applying the pink shade that I showed you in that. I'm actually loving the lighter shades, but I'm not impressed with the definer and the crease shade. So I'm going to be testing out my Wet n Wild. Because from here, it's just the basic highlight, whatever. I hope this is my skin color. Hey! Look at me guesstimating correctly. Um, I would, that's also a thing people ask me like quite often. This, I'm expecting this to be like really pink undertone, so I have my yellow corrector ready. Um, and I really like the applicator. So I bought the shade Toffee basically, so medium deep. I always just take the medium deep option because I'm generally just medium deep. Sweet Beauty Foundation Brush. Um, 
I've been doing my own foundation for like such a long period of time that when I pick up a foundation I don't generally test it on my skin I kind of just look at it and like open the I open the bottle I don't even swatch it on my neck anymore um look at this foundation massa has like a weird smell to it though that's the only thing I would say it doesn't have like a like a scent it just smells like not chemicals because that chemicals are like an unpleasant smell but A weird smell. This is supposed to like not give the flashback effect. Um, I like it. I like it. Quite like it. So next, I'm going to be taking my same concealer. And then just applying like three dots under my eyes. One on my chin, up the bridge of my nose, and one on my forehead. Because I told you I brought my yellow corrector because I was expecting this foundation to be very pink undertone. So then I'm taking my yellow corrector and just bringing that out from under my eye. So what I did was just blended out my I'm really liking how this looks on my face so just taking it out of my switch beauty oligraph flash case I'm taking the brown shade to contour a little there Bronzer has to be like my favorite thing. Like my favorite, favorite thing. Allego powder in banana. My Allego 20 watt. This is like, I never use anything else. <laughs> I like literally just use the same highlighter. Can you see why though? Like, Okay, okay, my highlight is changing the lighting. <laughs> I'm really hungry. Okay, okay, I'm done, I'm done. After this, I didn't bring my setting spray with me. I'm not about to get up to go fetch it, so you know I just set my face after this. So then I'm applying this. Oh my goodness, I didn't even like say what to get your girlfriend for Valentine's and I'm basically done with my face. Um up is just it's the thought that counts that is my main tip sorry I look wild it's the thought that counts when it comes to Valentine's Day like you might not want to do Valentine's Day but I mean chances are your girlfriend's gonna want something nice on Valentine's Day like I know it's a cliche 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 day and whatever but think like just take the time out as a boyfriend to think to yourself like have you really taken the time out in the past month or like few months to just make your girlfriend feel special if the answer is you're probably gonna be in denial about this in any case so I don't know why I'm saying this but if the answer is no then it won't hurt to like do something nice for on Valentine's Day like get even if it's a rose the thing is the thought that counts so even if you can only afford to get the like one rose take a pen and a piece of paper and write a note and tell her how special she is to you and how much you love and appreciate her i promise you the note more than the rose will make her feel special and 
your girlfriend might tell you, oh, I know I don't care about Valentine's Day. Chances are she cares. She's just trying to see if you care to actually do something. Or are you going to do something for her just because she told you to do something for her? That is my tea for the day. Thank me later. All most girls are like this. Like she'll say, oh, no, it's fine. Like we don't have to do anything for Valentine's Day. Boy, she's testing you. Are you going to pull up and do something special for her? Are you just and be like okay fine we don't have to do anything for Valentine's Day that is the defining moment in your life she's testing you it's a test it's always a test it's always a test um but yeah it's the thought more than anything that counts like don't overthink it even if you can only afford like a little teddy bear if you can get a chocolate put thought into getting the chocolates if you want to do like a jar with reasons why you love her like it's the thought Yeah. And it is very much a test if she says she doesn't want to do Valentine's Day. I've met very few girls who genuinely don't want to do Valentine's Day. Just for the fact that, you know, everyone likes to feel special from time to time. I mean, if your girlfriend, your girlfriend probably does more for you than you do for her. Like, generally, that is always the case. And I mean, if she, you forget sometimes that she goes out of her way she does things and goes out of her way for you i mean the least you can do is a little valentine's day don't be the guy that says you don't do valentine's day because you eat a special every day of do you get a flowers every day of the year how often do you get your girl flowers this is like proper questions is on my teeth <laughs> okay i'm gonna set my face after this but you guys don't see that portion of the video so sorry i didn't like really really give actual valentine's day gift ideas but just take the piece of advice that i'm giving you it's the thought that counts like she's much like rana if you guys are living together um so i don't know rana candle at bath if you guys are married um do put effort into doing something nice for her. if you don't want to do it on valentine's day it doesn't have to be valentine's day it could be my earrings looking wild it could be the 20th of feb tomorrow today just do something nice for her to make her feel special try make it a monthly thing try a weekly thing just it would it's, it's more beneficial to you to do these like cute things for because i mean like every girl craves feeling special and feeling wanted and even if it's a post i don't know like post something cute do something cute like something meaningful um and thank me later yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video um, so this is like realistically what I would do. Usually I would do a nude lip because my lipstick doesn't really last that long. But if you're feeling bold lip is your thing, this is what I would generally do if when I'm going on a date. Nothing too hectic, just something tasteful. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video.